All right, so we're gonna switch gears a bit and now we're gonna discuss how we can use the native video functionality in Ableton Live for live performance. Now granted, the video functionality in Live is relatively limited. Uh, again, it's not a dedicated video program, but there are a couple different ways that we can approach using the default behavior in Ableton Live to either play videos that are in sync with the music. So for example, let's say if you have several songs and you have accompanying videos that go with those songs, you can make it so that you trigger the song, trigger the audio, and trigger the video at the same time. Uh, so this is a very easy way to, again, have visuals that are already supposed to play in sync with the song. Another approach would be having multiple video clips that aren't meant to play in sync with the song, but you can jump between these freely uh, and even jump between them in a rhythmic way if you assign different locate markers to uh, a MIDI controller. So we'll look at both scenarios and uh, we'll play around with some different examples. In this case, what I have right now, uh, I have a video from a song that I did uh, many, many, many years ago called Go. And if I just skip through here, you can see some of the imagery from this video. It's back when I had much more hair. <laughs> And uh, if I hit tab to go to the session view, on this track right here, I have the audio for the song. Now, the big distinction here is that this song is a rap song. I'm rapping on it and I also produce the beat. And while I'm performing this, I don't want the vocals to play. So in the actual video, the video has the vocals obviously, the audio that I have here is an instrumental. So I can play the instrumental, the beat plays, I'm able to rap and do my thing, but then I can have the video playing in sync with the song and uh, I just think this would be a cool way to approach it. So let's look at how we can properly set this up to get our video to play in sync with the audio.